kind of explain a little bit about how an automatic transmission gear train works. Then I have the gear train stacked up as it would sit inside the transmission. And there are brake clutches and driving clutches that drive different elements of the gear train in order to get the different gear ratios. For instance, if you're in low gear, you notice the output shaft spins very slowly. Now, whenever you go to change a gear ratio, it will hold another element. Let's say it will hold this direct drum. You have a much faster gear ratio. By holding different elements with different clutches, this is how it achieves different gear ratios through the planetary. That's the basic principle behind a planetary automatic transmission. This is a compound planetary gear set, also known as a Ravenol gear set. It's comprised of actually two planetary gears built into the same carrier, which has two different sun gears so they can turn at different speeds, smaller sun gear, and a larger sun gear. That will allow you to get multiple gear ratios out of the same planetary. In this drum, we have an example of what they call a simple planetary gear set, or a Simpson planetary gear. It has the sun gear, inside of the planetary gears. It works exactly like it sounds. The planetary gears revolve around the sun gear. These planetary gears drive this ring gear. which is what provides another different gear ratio. Depending on what element is held, depends on what gear ratio is.